Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here doing mid-October readings for all zodiac signs. Now, like I always say, the general readings. So if they apply to you, that's awesome. And if they don't, you know what to do with it. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock! And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the info is in the box below. Uh, readings are done within a 24-hour period of contact. Whether you shoot me an email or give me a shout over the phone. And readings are done either over the phone or in a private video sent to you by email. Uh, if you want to learn tarot, I have them on sale right now from now until the end of October. Um, there are five videos plus a bonus video. They're $20 a piece. Um, right now, they're going to be $80 for the whole set. And also, my mystery healing boxes that are absolutely beautiful. I have the hexagon-shaped box now. And it's got a glass top to it. It brings out the highest properties and qualities of your crystals and stones. And I also customize them. So if there's a certain color you want uh, or a theme, I'll take care of it. Give me a shout. Uh, also, life path readings are going to be $35 until the end of October as well. All that being said, put this out so I don't smoke you guys out. It's going to be for cancer. Let's see what's cracking lacking with you. In mid-October Boy, can't tell. I think you want something new. And I think you might be making the strides to bring in newness. Let's find out what this is all about. Bottom of the deck. Hmm. Maybe being a little covert about it. Can't see. You have the four of pentacles. Known as a miser card. But this cat has something in the lock and key. He's not expressing himself. He's not letting anyone know. Not giving his opinion. Keeping to himself. And you know, Cancer, you know, the proof is in the pudding. You don't have to tell everyone, you know, about wanting better. I think you just go and do it. So let's get it. Cancer, we're going to start off with Major Arcana, the Aquarius card of the star. Here's healing energy. A card to let you know that the universe hears you, your guides are with you. Things going on behind the scenes, divine intervention. Wish being granted. And what's crossing you is the Page of Swords, a.k.a. the Spy card. Now, this could be an immature communication that comes in. Or, you know, somebody could be checking out your social media. You, them, them, you. Remember, the energy can go either way. This is also about maybe getting on the internet and getting knowledge. Maybe being guided. And you don't say anything, Cancer. You just know. I think that maybe you're trusting yourself more. Listening to yourself more. It's not, it's not all about, like, other people now. It's about, you know, your dreams, your wants, your desires. And how you make them come true. This communication comes in. could be a blessing in disguise. And you'll see that later on. Now, in your foundation, Cancer, you have the Page of Cups. This comes from your court, as well as uh, Pisces, and as well as Scorpio. It's a simple, heartfelt communication, whether it's an apology or a compliment. But it's something that's offered that comes from the heart. Maybe there is something that you want to express to somebody, and it comes from your heart. In Cancer, maybe there's something, you know, from a situation, friendship, partnership, love ship, any one of those ships, that you want to hear. It could be, you know, you want to offer 
something that is real, that really comes from, you know, your soul, Cancer. But it's who you give it to and where you put it. That's going to make all the difference in the world here. And what's crowning your whole reading here, Cancer, is that you have the Hermit card, Virgo card. This is the seeker of knowledge. He doesn't rely on everybody else to find out what he needs to find out. He relies on himself. That way he knows it to be true. Sometimes it is isolation, you know, seclusion, but the hermit likes to be alone. He likes to be able to process things without the outside world's influences. It's internalizing, introspection, inner knowing, trusting your, you know, your intuition. Again, keeping something on a lock and key, keeping something to yourself. I don't think it's a bad thing, Cancer. I think the universe wants to give you this wish, this blessing in disguise. And I also think that, you know, the universe wants you to know, you know, they're on your side. They got you. No matter what you choose. As long as it comes from you and it comes from your heart. And Cancer, to really know this, you need to take that pause, you know, be alone time. And know exactly who you want to give your cup to. Or to what. Now, in your recent past, you have the Three of Wands. And this is taking a brand new course of action. And see if that action brings the ships in. And this one, he owns the ship. Bye, mine. Doing something new, you know, that brings in the things that you want and need. Wishes, aspirations, expectations. So when you read some past cancer, maybe you're like, you know what? I'm going to do something different. I'm going to find out what I need to find out about it. I'm going to internalize it. And I'm just going to do it. But going into your future, Cancer, you have the world card. And the world card's about completions. Something wraps itself up, comes to an end. Old cycles end, new ones begin. And if you're looking for that new adventure, that, you know, getting out of that stuck, stagnant, you know, environment, wanting change. Something's going to end before you get this wish. Now, Cancer, whether it's an old way of thinking, an old way of doing things, an old way of approaching things. And you really need to internalize about this, Cancer, because things that, you know, you set out to do that didn't pan out or whatever, doesn't mean you can't, you know, revisit it. A different approach might be successful. It could be that easy. If this was a failed attempt before, and now it's a re-go, you either need to know more about it, that way you know what you're dealing with, no, you know, surprises here, Cancer, or belief system needs to change. Now, if you're taking a course of action, Cancer, and it doesn't matter what ship this applies to, something definitely needs to end to get you on that right course of success. You know, it could be the way you look at it. Now, remember, this could be, you know, energy that you're putting out there or coming to you. But something old needs to Get done. In order to bring these new possibilities, places, things, opportunities. And how people are seeing you in this situation. 
chances they see you as the lovers. The Gemini card. This is soulmate connection. This is a deep bond. It's like no other. It's the I get you of I get you cards. <laughs> Finish each other's sentences. Now, the other meaning of the card, if it's not, you know, in regards to relationship, partnership, friendship, any of those. This is a life-changing decision. And I'm really feeling strong about that, that people look at you like you're going to change this. Old things that just don't serve you anymore. I'm done with it. I've tried it. I know where it goes. I want something new. And Cancer, I think you need something new. New faces, new places, you know, new situations. I think something might be getting moldane. It's like you know the ending, you know, before you read the whole book. <laughs> that could be your intuition kicking in. Your inner knowing. Cancer, I think you are trying to make a drastic life-changing decision. If you're not telling anyone about it, that's fine. If you're closing something out on your, you know, on your own, things don't serve you anymore. Because you got to make room for that new stuff. Now's the time. Because in your environment, can't see you get the Three of Pentacles. It's your time to shine. This is about getting accolades, props, recognition for your fine skills, qualities, and crafts. Being recognized for that great person that you are, Cancer. Spotlight on you. And Cancer, if you have taken a seat back, you know what I mean? And you feel like life's passing you by. Now might be the time to make that move. Strike out. You know, on your own. Make something happen. Put that ball into, you know, action. You are, you know, a person to be seen. Not to, you know, stand in the crowd. You need to be on that stage. And in your hopes and fears, Cancer, you have the Leo card of strength. Now, this is not about physical strength, Cancer. This is about inner strength. This is when you can hold back tears. Bite your tongue. But let them have it when the time's right. I call it waking up your inner lion. Everybody has an inner lion. Some people say it's taming the beast. You know, having to control over temptation, urges, or whatever. But Cancer, sometimes it's not about, you know, controlling your line. It's about waking it up. And having the guts and having the courage to stand out. To be noticed, to be recognized. You know, put your claim to fame out there. Because I don't think you play second fiddle very well. Cancer. And if you've been internalizing about this, if you've been, you know, gathering info, you know what I mean, and making a plan to make something, you know, a life-changing decision, I think that you're going to do it, and you're going to come with it, and you are going to grab that brass ring, and you are going to get the recognition that you deserve, because you don't belong in the back seat, Cancer. You've always been the driver. <laughs> and this is what the universe and your guides are trying to bring you. Into you getting recognized for your great skills, qualities, crafts. Just for that great person that you are. You will succeed, I believe. Your outcome card here, Cancer, is the Seven of Pentacles. Now, this is the Taken Stock card here. You know, you put all your time, your energy, your love into something, and then you got to take a step back and be like, am I getting out of it what I put into it? When do I see the fruits of my labor? Was it worth doing at all? 
Cancer, I think you're going to be reinvesting in you. And not in other people. In yourself. And having the guts to do it. Because when you put all that, you know, time, energy, and love into you to make something work, to drastically change something, the old you slips away. But the brand new you shines like a new penny. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel, and I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.